G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So I had a request to show you the free ranging quail. Now I wouldn't recommend this for most people to try. The reason I can get away with it is you can see it's a restricted yard with quite high fences. So even when they fly, and fly they do, trust me, um, they really can't go anywhere. I have had one clear a six foot fence at the back of the house, um, but it doesn't happen all that often. It's always fun chasing after them. Now can you see that one baldy bloke? He's a young male and he gets frequently beaten up um, and they mount him as part of the demonstration that he's at the bottom of the pecking order and that's why he's got absolutely no feathers left on the back of his head, the poor little bugger. Uh, but he's also started trilling quite loudly um, which is bloody annoying quite frankly. So he's headed for the pot, that little bloke. Not sure when. There's never a rush for these things. I've also found it delightful. I suppose some folks will be horrified hearing me talk this way, but see, so there go the boys, the three boys. Um, I've found a delightful recipe in a pressure cooker um, for orange quail. So that's what we'll be having a little try of. But there you go, there's the birds out free ranging. So this is the middle cage, um, that's my first lot of babies. You can see, the girls are a lot more relaxed, they just sort of chill out and walk around and peck at things. Uh, like that one there, she's pecking at some sand. Um, the boys are bloody lunatics quite frankly. But there you go Ken, there's your free ranging quail mate, you don't need to feel bad for them. They're not constantly battery, battery birds. Well, they do spend a fair bit of time in the house, and they actually go more relaxed in the house. I guess it's just that familiar kind of environment for the little buggers. Um, but it is nice if you can get them out, and get a bit of a run around. I won't be saying that as I try to round them up and have to chase them halfway around the yard, but anyway, it's all fun. So in this bottom cage, I'll just remind you of what happened. I've got four birds, one male, three females. They're the ones that I bred off this season. Um, and even though we're going into winter, they're still all producing a pretty good supply of eggs. I can see one in there now. Um, so the first lot of babies were the eight that are now out. Although there actually was more than eight. Uh, there was at least 11. So I've killed three males already. They're in the freezer. They've been processed and in the freezer. Um, they started trilling just too loud and I was worried the neighbours were going to complain. So they go in the middle cage here. That's where they normally live and run around and have fun. Uh, they're laying. They've been laying for quite a while. But in exciting news, I've got 11 in the top cage here. They've started laying as well. Unfortunately, that means they've also started trilling. Um, so I'll have to sex up who's male um, and I'll probably only keep two depending on how many males we get I guess and how many girls um, the ratio is usually about one to three one to four is a good number um, and that's as much for the girls as anything else it's you know spreads the damage around a bit uh, if you've got too many males you saw from old baldy there they tend to fight a lot um, so you know it might sound cruel but everyone's a winner you cannot sell males back to a pet shop or a produce store. They won't take them. They don't want them. Hence, I've had to harden up a bit, and so they're getting eaten. That way they have a good life. I can assure you it's a swift and not painful death, uh, and they don't go to waste. And when they're birds that you've reared from tiny little chicks, you really do value it. Anyway, so that's the current run on the quails, folks. Like I say, don't try this in a normal yard, even if you've got six foot fences, because they go over them. They can jump. They tend to fly straight up. And there's the chickens putting themselves to bed. <laughs> so it's getting night time. I'll round the quails up now. Um, it's interesting, the two heritage birds, the one at the back whose bum you can see, that's Bertha. Oh, she put her head up. 
she's molting terribly. Good almighty, she dropped some feathers. And Winnie down there, she looks like a runner duck. She's got a naked neck as well. Um, she's a heritage breed as well. She's a wine dot. Um, but the two kind of GMO new breed birds that are made for laying, uh, they're showing no signs of molt whatsoever. Uh, there they are and happy, put themselves to bed. There's the rat proof feeder. That should be shut. It's obviously gone. Sometimes it gets stuck. Not often, but occasionally. Oh, I don't worry about it in the day because the birds appreciate it. But at night, I certainly make sure that's bloody shut. Don't want to feed the rat. Um, and I'll let you go now. Just a quick video on update about the quails. Um, and I hope you all have a good one, hey? See ya.